the hotel industry is another industry that has been extremely hard hit throughout the crisis, but they are starting to bounce back and they've done it with a lot of creativity. Joining us now on the show, Sarah Osborne. She's the marketing and communications manager for the Royal Park Hotel, one of our favorite hotels. How are you doing today, Sarah? I am well. How are you, Ronnie? Good, good. I, I always feel like your hotel isn't just a hotel. It's so much more. You know, it, it really is. We do feel a, a large sense of community here and a lot of community support. And we've really become a place of, you know, a getaway for people, a relaxation point, their um, kind of go-to spot their particular day of the week. So yeah, we have a lot that goes on here more than just the hotel. So with that, Sarah, we know, uh, you know, the world is starting to reopen. People are feeling more comfortable traveling. Um, are you seeing things pick up there at the hotel? So we are seeing things pick up uh, what we call transient guests. So the, the local traveler, that person within that 300 mile radius of our property are driving that few hours distance for long week or weekend getaways. Um, we are slowly seeing a small amount of our business travel pick up, but it's definitely not where it has been in years past. So we're very reliant on our local community and that three or four mile, uh, three or four hour radius travel. I mean, really, it's a perfect getaway for parents because we know so many families are stressed right now. So as more and more grandmas are getting vaccinated, send the kids to grandma and grandpa and get away for the weekend because people have, they've earned it over the past year. Absolutely. And we have been doing a lot of unique, um, different activities and events here at the hotel to help draw in and provide opportunities for people who are looking to get away that are more than just a night stay. So I feel that one of the great things about your hotel really is the location as well, because it does invite that getaway feeling in the middle of a city. And um, talk about some of the plans and the programs that you've come up to try to attract people to come to your hotel. Absolutely. So downtown Rochester is just a few blocks from the hotel. We are situated right on the banks of Paint Creek River, so we really don't feel like we're in a big downtown suburban area, but it is just that few blocks walk to downtown. So we've developed some interesting room packages and connections more with our downtown to allow our guests to get that getaway feeling um, as if they were you know, more so up north or by the water. So we have a few different room packages. We have, um, for those who stay the night, we offer bike rentals. We offer fly fishing opportunities. So people who want to try their hand, the river is simply right there on the side of the hotel. Wait, you can and fly fish here? I would never, <laughs> we have never fly fishing that. here, yes. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, and we, we've got a lot of bikes, uh, mountain bikes, uh, cruiser bikes, the Paint Creek Trails right outside the hotel, and then that connects to Clint River and Macomb Orchard Trails. So there's truly almost 50 miles of trail connections right starting from our property. So it's, it is like the feeling of up north, but right here in our own backyards. With that, we're talking with Sarah Osborne. She's the marketing and communications manager for the Royal Park Hotel located right there in Rochester. And with that, um, you guys are bringing concerts back? Yes. So we tried our hand last year at a concept called Vertical Concerts. We did four concerts last year. They went over really well. So this year we are actually hosting nine concerts this year. Our first one just took place this past Thursday. And oh, then the, um, how does it work? Yeah, so the concerts, there's two package options. The band sets up right on the side of the property, right by the Paint Creek River. And we have two package levels, one being more of a eye level seating on our restaurant terrace. And then the other package being an upstairs on our second floor, they go and have um, a space in our Luxury King Terrace guest room that has a large walkout terrace. And it has more of that aerial view of the concert. So you can bring guests with you. You get a room for the night. And then you bring up to six guests total, including yourselves if you're sitting on the restaurant terrace, or up to 10 guests in the upstairs level because it's considered a resident space following the MDHHS guideline. It's really interesting and creative. Um, how's, what's been the response? 
very successful. We were sold out for our first concert, so we were very excited for that. Um, you know, it, it's great because it's a night out. It's a way to safely gather with friends. You get to order your food, your beverages. Um, we have an, another option with cabanas. So for people who aren't maybe looking for that upper level experience, but want something a little bit more separated, but still outside. So we have the cabanas and a fire pit, um, a lot of different levels and opportunities for these packages. Okay, I have to know who came up with the name for the next concert series, the Jello Shots Vertigo. <laughs> <laughs> the concerts are named after the bands themselves. So the Jello Shots are based right out of Rochester, Michigan. So yes, that one is being close to sold out. We do have some availability left and, and some on our next concert, which is the Collision Six on May 23rd. Well, that's quite the band name. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I think I'm getting old because I didn't know it was the name of a band. I was like, oh, you're going to be doing what? Different flavors of Jello shots? <laughs> Who knows? We could. <laughs> Make it a part of the underlying theme. Plus, you know, you go on Pinterest. There are a world of new flavors of Jello shots out there right now. Yeah. We're talking with Sarah Osborne. She's the marketing and communications manager for the Royal Park Hotel. Hey, uh, Sarah, if I can ask, uh, how are things going Um on the wedding front because you guys have a beautiful space for people to get married there. Is that picking up? Do you anticipate going into the summer and the fall? So we're, we're hopeful. We, as everybody else are, you know, monitoring the guidelines that are being set forth right now by the governor and um, MDHHS. So we are waiting patiently, you know, patiently and, and we're very hopeful that things will open back up more so this summer. We do have an outdoor pavilion, so that is available to book for events, um, including weddings, as it is an outdoor space following current guidelines, and we're just monitoring closely for indoor opportunities. Um, so how does it work? Uh, did some people postpone their weddings to this year, or many, yes, are you booked yeah. up? So many of our guests from last year did shift their dates to this year. Um, and then we are taking it week by week, day by day to see what we can offer for them or continue to shift further. How hard has this been? Because, you know, in some cases, we had things that were um, restrictions that went in place like the night before. And just between us, Sarah, you could tell us, <laughs> did you have to deal with a few bridezillas over the past year? You know, I, I don't know if I'd necessarily call them Bridezillas, but yes, absolutely. The, the, you know, imagining putting ourselves in their shoes, people that have built up this, this vision and it's, you know, one of the most important days of their lives and to have that just ripped from underneath them, of course, is going to create um, some frustration, anger. And of course, it's, it's nothing we can do. So we're there to support the best we can. But absolutely, there, there's always those trying times. Yeah. And, and you know, it's not your fault, um, you know, but we have seen over the past year and it's just frustration. Yes. Um, so many people. And so you have to try to rework it. But coming out of the pandemic, do you think some people are looking at how to have a wedding differently? Because in some cases, smaller is more meaningful and intimate. Absolutely. We've been seeing a lot of inquiries for smaller events, a lot of weddings that started out to be very large, that the most important thing to them is just to be married and, and, and have some of those family members that maybe are more elderly and, and not you know looking to be around for much longer. They want to just share that experience with them. So they're willing to do whatever they can and whatever it takes to still create that special day. Sarah Osborne with us here on the Megacast. She's the marketing and communications manager for the Royal Park Hotel. With that, Sarah, uh, can we talk about hiring and employees? We sure. know there is a shortage going yes. on right now. I would think you're hiring. Absolutely. As everyone is, um, definitely we are trying to think outside the box, as I think many people are on hiring. It's a challenge because the pool of people is very small. And the competition is very large um, because there are so few places that are not hiring. Um, we are actually working on launching a campaign uh, for hiring and we're helping target with our current employees to 
help recruit and, and find people. So we're, we're giving some incentives to our current employees to find new people um, and trying to focus on really the who behind the why. Our, our motto is, you know, everyday luxury and wanting to provide that to our guests. So we're really just trying to find people that are looking for an exciting, new, different, fun place to work that care more about, you know, what it takes to take care of guests, to be more connected as a family, and not just that other number at a, at a job. We really are a family here. So uh, with that, what are the top positions that you need to try to fill? So right now, we really are across the board looking for a lot of positions. Our restaurant kitchen staff is one of the largest at this time, from chefs to servers, banquet staff, as events start picking up. We are looking for those staff members, a few at our front desk as well. It's kind of a great time and an opportunity for people to work under people with a great experience as well. Absolutely. There's, we're a very unique place because we have so much variety here that for people who are really looking to get into the hospitality industry, this is an amazing place and opportunity to dabble in a few different areas of the hotel and really advance your knowledge and your skills for the industry. So Sarah, do you anticipate um, as more and more people start to travel that there are still people that aren't comfortable, but they want to stay closer to Michigan because we've seen such a huge increase in our parks and our trails and with your location, it's kind of the best of two worlds. Yes, absolutely. People are looking for that quick getaway where they just have to drive within the state, you know, a few hours or less, and they want something where they can be outdoors. So they want that experience where they can feel safe. And so that's why we've adapted a lot of our programs to really highlight the outdoors renting fire pits, renting cabanas, the bikes, all of that, to try and target those people who are looking to spend money and feel like they've had a vacation, but they haven't had to travel too far. Sarah Osborne with us here on the Megacast. Just another minute or two before we say goodbye to you, Sarah. Anything else going on over at the hotel that uh, you want to highlight? Yeah, so I guess for people who don't know, um, beyond the hotel and, and having you know rooms packages and the concerts, and um, you know events and things. We also have a restaurant. It has one of the largest terraces, really, in you know our area that overlooks the Pink Creek River. We've got a great bourbon program. We've got wonderful, amazing cuisine. We're actually launching our new restaurant menu tomorrow. So for those who are maybe interested in stopping by but not staying the night, we do have the restaurant as well. How much uh, of your visitors do you get that are local? Uh, right now, I would say 70, 80 percent of our guests right now are truly our, our local community. Wow. It, it, it goes back to support local mm -hmm. as well. Sarah Osborne with us here on the Megacast. If someone's coming to the restaurant, do they need to make reservations? We recommend it. It's not required, but absolutely with our 50 percent occupancy, you know, six people to a table, six feet apart. Absolutely. We highly recommend making those reservations. Well, it's been so great having you with us here on the show, Sarah Osborne, Marketing and Communications Manager for the Royal Park Hotel there in Rochester. Um, Sarah, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And good luck with the hiring because we need to remind people they're, once they're going back outdoors or back to restaurants and hotels, they expect the same level of service, but they have to understand that so many businesses right now are experiencing shortages. Be patient and be kind. Absolutely. And, you know, people can find our information. They just go to our website, royalparkhotel.net. They can visit our careers page. It's easy application. Um, you know, give us a call. We're happy to chat. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. You too.